we came together by fate and it was an absolute miracle for me to meet this amazing woman. The comments mainly were circled around, why would you marry a disabled man? You're gonna murder him after you've become a citizen and take his money. We love each other and that's what keeps me going every day. True love doesn't discriminate. This is Susan. She fell in love with Philip. Me and my husband, we connect very well. I'll say from day one, I didn't even have a second thought. Because of Philip's disability, they face judgment at every turn. We knew that there were people out there that wanted us to fail. Anyway, I'm not going to kill the viewers with that I want to courage to get Susie's number. At the time I worked as a customer engagement officer and I was one of the people on the board that was doing interviews and uh, my darling Susie was coming in as one of our interviewees. She caught my eye. I thought not only was she very beautiful but also very smart. And we started texting and talking and then we went on our first date and the rest is history. Oh, that's so sweet. You're handsome, you know that. Uh, that's the most beautiful woman in the world. I was diagnosed in 2016 with a rare form of muscular dystrophy. I grew up in hospital, so I grew up around very positive people, and it, it turned me into the positive man that I am. My husband can't do much of the physical thing, so he relies on somebody else helping him. Hospitality is one of my characteristics, yeah. I'd say. I can't itch myself, I can't feed myself, I can't do anything really. My wife uh, does everything from feeding to hygiene. She's my rock. My wife is not just my wife, but she's my best friend and, and she helps me with my condition as much mentally as physically. engagement to wedding that wasn't easy because we knew that there were people out there that wanted us to fail. If you tally up the average comments we had on one video and then you've got maybe a thousand negative but all the rest are positive. That thousand alone, some of them were enough to make Susan not sleep at night. Things do hurt. My parents, my dad, my mom were very supportive and so was my siblings. Mm. They were all very supportive and that's what gave me good guts to keep going. When I found out that Susan and Phil are a couple, I was like, hmm, that's unusual, that's unheard of. Um, but today when I see them, like, you know, a year later, maybe two, close to two after their marriage, I don't think there's anything unusual. I see uniqueness in their relationship. When I see her putting clothes on, makeup, doing the dishes, it doesn't matter. And I think to myself, I'm worthy of this love from this woman. He was very passionate about his life what he wanted, what he was looking for. He was very courageous with the way he approached me. He was just directing the point. Yes, I love you. You're gorgeous. And I would really love to spend the rest of my life with you. And on top of everything, he was so loving. And that I knew this is the man I'm after. The admiration I have for my wife is, is of no other human being than I ever have because she is worthy of more than I can ever give her and yet she chose to be with me. So yes, I am indeed proud to the extent that I can't describe it. I'm just so proud of my wife.
for being there for me every single day.